what I find so interesting is the combination of King Tut's DNA, the MT DNA and the Y DNA. So obviously he is R1B and R1B is said to have originated or brought to Europe and other parts of the world by the Yamnaya. And that was thousands of years ago, of course. And these same Yamnaya also migrated towards the east. They migrated, they basically became the Celtic people, Celtic people in the west, in Europe, and the Scythians in the east. Uh, the Aryans, the Iranians. And I'm not surprised that, you know, when you look at, for example, the different dynasties, you know, the, the biggest problem when you uh, have people hypothesize that they don't realize that every single dynasty was a different family and every one of those families had different ancestries. So while Ramses was E1B1A, I believe, which is Sub-Saharan, uh, Cleopatra was Greek, Macedonian. She was from Europe. And Ramses, uh, I mean, King Tut and his whole family, apparently, um, you know, at one point, the origin was the Yamnaya region, but they could have gone towards east and mixed with people over there, which would make sense because his empty DNA is K. And K is still very, uh, I believe, one third of Ashkenazi Jewish people have it, empty DNA K. So there's obvious, and, and the origin is likely somewhere uh, in Sumer, Sumerian region, um, you know, Mesopotamia, Iran, Persia, that area. So, which, by the way, is where, even according to the Torah, Abraham, the father of the Jews, came from.